Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I'm getting ready for our huge cross country family road trip with four kids. So that takes a lot of packing, a lot of planning, but I actually really enjoy it. So come along with me today and I'll share all of my tips with you. Now, first things first, you guys. This car is a mess, so I'm actually gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna take it to an auto cleaning place and let them detail clean it. I'm super excited. Here's the before, and then here's the after. They did such a good job. It looks almost like a brand new car now. In fact, it actually looks better than when I bought it. So we're gonna be driving from California to Florida, and we think it's gonna take at least six or seven days but we're not really on a tight schedule, so it could be up to 10 days. We'll just have to wait and see. So when it comes to packing clothes, that's definitely one of the biggest jobs that I have to take care of, and I've learned over the years that it's better to pack fewer clothes and just plan on washing them along the way. So I decided to only pack four outfits for the kids. That way it'll take up a lot less space and I'm still only having to do laundry maybe once or twice on our trip. Now beside the regular four outfits, I'm also packing one nicer set of clothes just in case we want to visit a church. And I'm also packing one set of warmer clothes just in case. Now since we travel pretty often, last year I did go ahead and buy each child their own suitcase and their own set of packing cubes. Packing cubes are so helpful and they really help keep everything organized when we're traveling. Kenzie has has the pink set, Lily's are the purple ones, Griffin has the green ones, and Jackson has the blue set. I find all these on Amazon and they're surprisingly not that expensive, but buyer beware you guys. This brand is the Travel Wise brand and they're they're not the greatest quality, so I wouldn't recommend those. There are definitely better ones on Amazon for a similar price. Now, if you can find an Ikea brand packing cube, those ones are really good, probably my favorite. But then I also have some of these Hopsukin brand. They're also from Amazon and they're much better quality. I think they're more durable and they'll probably last a lot longer. And then as you can see here, I still have a lot of space left in these packing cubes. So, so what I'm gonna do is use that space to add in all of the underwear and the socks and the undershorts and things like that, that they might need to go along with their outfit for that day. So now I have all the kids clothes separated and packed. And then in this last packing cube, which is a little bit smaller, I have all of their girls hair accessories. So I have headbands and hair clips, bows, a brush, some hairspray, gel, rubber bands, and detangler. So basically I have everything I need to do my girls hair and my boys hair all in one place. This seriously comes in so handy when we're traveling. Now I just have a few more steps before I'm all done packing the clothes. Now I have to be honest with you guys, sometimes I do all the packing, it's often late at night, and then we get to wherever we're going and I can't remember where I put each item. So I went ahead and picked up some of these key tags from the Dollar Tree, and then on each one of these little tags, I'm going to write basically what is in each bag, and I'm gonna use these as labels for each bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write it in there. I have one tag for day one and two clothes, day three and four clothes, you get the idea. And then because these are on rings, they're really easy to loop through the zipper directly onto the bag, just like this. That way I can just open up the suitcase, I can easily see what bag I need. I don't have to actually open up the packing cube to tell what's inside. And it's really great too if my husband wants to help get the kids ready, he'll know what bag he needs to grab. And if next time I wanna pack something else in that bag, these key tags are really easy to replace they're not stuck on there forever. So now it's time to put these into the suitcases. And as you can see, I can fit one to three packing cubes in each suitcase. But here's my tip, you guys. Before I close the suitcase, I'll snap a quick picture of each individual suitcase so that I can remember exactly which suitcase has which packing cube in it. The kids' suitcases came with a matching carry-on bag that I'm going to use to hold all of the bathroom items during our trip. So as you can see here, I have some hair care items, deodorant, shampoo, and other essentials we might need on the road. I also try to make sure to pack these inside of a larger Ziploc bag just in case any of the bottles leak. Next up, I have my new walking pharmacy, my diaper bag, and my mom bag, and I'm keeping them all together in this laundry basket so they don't roll around in the car. I 
In my mom bag, I like to store all the essentials that I personally like to have when traveling. And I actually have a separate video on that. I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below if you'd like to see exactly what I like to bring for myself. Next up is our actual diaper bag. And normally I would put a ton of stuff in here, but for this trip, it's just gonna hold diapers. Oh yes, and wipes, of course. Thankfully, Griffin is the only one who's currently in diapers, but he's almost ready for a potty training. But I definitely didn't want to start that until after this big road trip. And finally, my new walking pharmacy. Now I actually got this bag on Amazon and I think it is so cute. I love the flowers, but it's actually a diaper bag. But because it has so many different pockets, perfect for holding all kinds of things. In this front section, I just have some sunscreen, some essential oil-based insect repellent, and some body wipes. Then I also got a brand new first aid kit off of Amazon, and this has all of the real first aid essentials. And then thankfully, my kits don't get sick very often, but just in case they do, I have things for allergies, colds, sore throats, I have things for bug bites, and I have eye drops. Now hopefully we won't need any of these things, but I feel a lot of peace of mind knowing that we have them, just in case we do. Moving on to the food and lunch supply storage system. You guys know I can't go anywhere without my lunch supplies. And for this I'm using one of these plastic three drawer units. I found this at Walmart. Now as you can see, all three drawers are very full, but pretty organized. In this first drawer I have an assortment of reusable bags, so I'm not using a ton of Ziploc bags. I also have several of these little Mio Energy water flavorings. I love to add these to my sparkling water. Over here I have a few measuring cups. Right now I'm actually on the Weight Watchers program, so measuring out my food is something I'm going to try my best to do while we're traveling. I'm also bringing a few of these little bag clips so I can close up any bags that we open along the way. And then over here I have some reusable straws. Over here I do have a few paper bowls and paper plates. And then underneath those, I have some disposable utensils, and I also have reusable ones as well. I have both. And then last but not least, I also have a few little food picks, some dip containers, and some silicone lighters. That way I can continue to make cute lunches while we're traveling. In this middle drawer, I'm storing all of our Ami boxes. I decided to bring these because they have a built-in thermos. These will definitely come in handy while traveling. I also have a few of these Rubbermaid take-along containers, which are great little reusable containers. They're perfect for snacks or even leftovers. And then something that definitely comes in handy on road trips with kids, a roll of paper towels. Now this top drawer is kind of dedicated to fruit storage. These are things that don't necessarily need to stay in the ice chest, so they're perfect in here. I have lots of freeze-dried fruit packets. I have several different flavors of applesauce pouches, and I also have one of my kids' favorites, the unsweetened apple berry sauce. And then there's just enough room for a few apples and little oranges. And as we're traveling, if we run out of any of these things, I know I can just stop at a Target or grocery store and restock them. In this plastic bin is where I'm holding all of the other snacks and food items that we're taking on the trip. And if you're curious to find out exactly what kind of food and snacks that we bring, I do have a separate video on that. I will link it down below. Now our ice chest will have plenty of other drinks, but I also wanted to make sure to have lots of water. So for this, I'm using this collapsible tote that I got on Amazon and it can hold eight gallons of water. They fit perfectly in there. And we're also bringing all of these insulated cups and water bottles. Everyone in the family has their own, so we'll be able to refill them with the water as we need it. Now, for my suitcase, I'm actually using my small pink roller bag, which has definitely seen better days. In here, I have my packing cubes. Just like the kids, I'm only taking four outfits. Over here is my travel makeup storage container. I love this thing. I found it on, I found it on Amazon as well. This fits all of my makeup and my brushes perfectly. And in this other bag, I have more personal items and skincare products. Now for my husband, he's actually gonna be using my larger pink suitcase. He totally doesn't mind. And when it comes to his stuff, he packs his own bags. I'm not in charge of what he brings. That part is totally up to him. But because he's using the larger suitcase, we'll also have a lot of room in there to put any odds and ends or you can even put some souvenirs that we might buy along the way. So now that I have all of my containers packed, it's time to get it in the car. First, I'll go ahead and put in the water. On top of that, I'm adding our food bin. 
Next, I'm going to add my three drawer unit, and that's gonna sit right in front so I can have easy access to it when we open up the back of the car. On the left side, I'm going to put my ice chest. Like I said, I'm gonna be putting all of our drinks in there, also milk for cereal, some pre-hard boiled eggs, lots of watermelon, there'll be string cheese, yogurt, and things like that. On top of the ice chest, I'm gonna go ahead and add the basket of bags. This just fits perfectly in there. I can still easily grab out anything that I need. Now in the space between, I'm going to go ahead and add these soft car trays. These are perfect for traveling. I found them on Amazon. They have a bag on either side where the kids can store their items. And there's even a little belt to help keep it in place. And finally, we have just enough room for an umbrella stroller. Now when it comes to the suitcases, we don't actually put any of them inside the car. We have this nice big rooftop carrier that will fit all of them, so that's where they go. Okay guys, so now that I've shown you the suitcases and what I put in the very back of the car, I can show you what I put in here for the kids and then I can show you the adult area. Now as you can see, I don't have the kids' car seats in here right now because I just got this car back from the cleaner and I still have to put their car seats back. And overall, my number one goal for this trip is to not be overloaded with too many things. We've gone on road trips before where the car was just jam-packed full of stuff and it's not very comfortable. So we just have the essentials in here. And of course, if the kids run out of activities and things to do, then we can always stop at a Dollar Tree or Walmart, maybe pick up a few things along the way. So we are changing the seat configuration just a bit for this trip. This one is actually usually Kenzie's seat. We're gonna go ahead and put Griffin here so that I can still reach and help him. And then Mackenzie's actually gonna be here so she can help Griffin and she can also um, run the DVD system as well. And then back here, the seating is gonna be pretty much the same. This is Jackson's spot over here and Lily's spot over there. Now normally when we travel, we let the kids bring their own backpacks to put their own stuff in. But I decided to get all the kids their own little back seat organizers instead so they can keep their stuff in there. So each of the kids will have their own in the seat in front of them and they can put whatever they want inside. So there's lots of different compartments in here, lots of pockets, a lot of storage in here. But in this one, I actually added something of my own, something that I'm hoping will work out really well for our trip and it's an incentive program. So this is a little whiteboard that I got from the Dollar Tree. I also got some stickers from the Dollar Tree too and I put each of the kids little nicknames on there and they're gonna start with five tallies a day and they can gain more tallies for good behavior and lose tallies for bad behavior and each tally equals one dollar so they're gonna be able to use that money to buy souvenirs or things at the grocery store as we're traveling and of course this is right behind my seat so if I need to I can quickly just grab it out use my little dry erase marker to either add or take away, hopefully not take away, the little tallies. Now along the bottom here, I still have to put back the car mats. They just got cleaned as well, but I thought I would show you this area. This is a container I got from the Dollar Tree, and there's actually Velcro on the bottom, so that it can actually stick to the bottom of the uh, car here. It won't shift or move around as we're driving down the road, so it's nice and secure and safe. But in here, I have all the kids' DVDs, and movies and they also have their own set of Bluetooth headphones so they can listen to their movie but the adults don't have to listen to their movie. We have the remote in here and then right here we have the drink holders for Mackenzie and Griffin. So on this side I wanted to make sure to keep the floor pretty clear but this is gonna be Griffin's side and he doesn't his feet don't reach all the way to the floor so I'm taking advantage of some extra space and where I decided to store the little car vacuum here. So this is kind of like a dust buster type situation. It has its own little bag that fits perfectly under there. And then this actually will plug in right here. So all we have to do is plug it in and we can quickly just vacuum up any crumbs or spills and hopefully keep the car clean. Now, like I said, all the kids have these little organizers and they went ahead and left most of it empty so they can decide what should go in here all by themselves, they can have whatever. I think they'll like to have that independence. I have their little riding toys in there so far, and I also have one pair of sunglasses for each kid as well. Now, as far as up here goes, I did let the kids decide what stuffed animal they wanted to bring. So this one is Griffin's, 
Mackenzie has a little rainbow corn. Lily picked Vampirina. Jackson has a little puppy dog. So between Jackson and Lily's seat and between Kenzie and Griffin's seat, I have a little basket absolutely full of different activities I'm hoping will last a long time. These bins are from the Dollar Tree and they're really cool because I can actually use the seat belt to seat belt this into place. So I don't have to worry about it flying around in the car as we're driving. So then way in the back here, as you can see on this side, I have room for two blankets and Jackson's water bottle. And on this side, we have two more blankets and Lily's water bottle. This little side area here and that little side area there is perfect for storing little blankets that are perfect for the car. And then up here, of course, we have the DVD system so the kids can watch movies. They also will have their little laptops that they use for schoolwork. And we have a hotspot so we can actually use the internet or the Roku stick, we can stream movies while we're traveling. And then the very last thing for this area is that under the seat, I have a few reusable shopping bags that I can use to collect garbage or to use when we actually go grocery shopping along the way. Or if we need a sick bag, we can just pull it out and use that. Now on to the adult section of the vehicle. I try to keep it really simple in here too, just what we need. I hate feeling cramped on a long car trip. So I'll go ahead and show you what I have on my side door. I've got these really cute tissue packs. I got these on Amazon. And I really like these because they clip right onto here, so they're always handy. And of course, I love that Mickey's on there. So you just open this up. You can easily grab your tissues in a hurry. And then down over here, just a few more essentials. I have my favorite lotion, so I can do that as we're going down the road. I have some body spray, some antibacterial wipes, and in this little pouch, I have some feminine products. And then also on my side, I'm keeping this little binder between here. It just fits perfectly. And this is where I can put all of our travel documents or anything that I need to print out and keep. I can just put right in there and pull it out when I need it. And now for my husband's side, who is definitely gonna be the main driver for this trip, I kinda help the kids and he does the driving. It works out nicely that way. On his side, I also have a pack of tissues so he can help himself when he needs to. I have a backup bottle of sunscreen. I have a bottle of uh, mosquito repellent this comes in handy and I really like this one because it doesn't smell so bad it's plant-based I also have a full-size umbrella in here and then way down there let me see if I can grab it out I have a nice full-sized flashlight in case of emergencies and now as far as the center console goes if you guys have seen my previous car organization video you'll know I love to have this area stocked full of lots of things. And to keep things organized in here, I've used lots of different bins from the Dollar Tree. I also have a stack of plastic cups. It just kind of keeps everything in its own area. Now in this little compartment, I have sticky notes, tape, a stapler, paper clips, toothpicks, things like that. I don't anticipate needing any of these, but it's nice to have just in case. And then in this little cup area, I have pens and pencils and a pair of scissors. I can't tell you how many times I've actually ended up needing scissors on our journey. So these come in handy for sure. And then in this compartment, I have this container. Now, this looks like a gum container because it used to be, but I've actually used up all the gum and filled it with quarters instead. So if we end up stopping at a place where we need to you know, pay a parking meter, we have plenty of quarters for that or if we end up needing to go to a laundromat, we can do that as well. So lots of quarters in there. I also have an extra set of sunglasses because I lose mine all the time. I have some hand sanitizer. And then I also have some car essential oils. These aren't really like fancy essential oils, just the basics, but I really like to use these in the car so it smells good. And each essential oil does something a little bit different. The orange essential oil definitely is like a cheery bright scent. The peppermint really helps if you're getting sleepy and you're trying to stay awake. That helps invigorate. The lavender is a really good one to use if I really want the kids to kind of calm down. It's almost bedtime. And then these three I don't quite use as much, but I actually use these in the car with this little clip. It goes right into the air vent. I found this on Amazon. So with this little clip, you actually can open it up like this and inside there's a little round of felt. You just drop your little essential oil, whatever kind you want to use right in there. You can close it up and then clip it on to, and as the air is blowing through, it really helps to distribute the essential oil smell. 
In this little bag, I have a few more of my favorite essential oils that are in roller balls. And then I also have this little pouch. In here is where I have all my extra felt pads for the essential oil diffuser. I can change them out so I don't have to cross-contaminate the oils. And then I also have a second little vent clip. Now, I found these on Amazon. In fact, most of my car organizing supplies I found on Amazon. I'll go ahead and stick that back in there. And then there is still some room in here. My husband usually has headphones that he'll store in there, extra cords and phone chargers, batteries we'll also put in there. And that's pretty much it for that. Now I'm super excited. My husband and I got new cups for this road trip. They hold 40 ounces of liquid. They are nice and insulated so you can fill them up with ice in the morning as we're traveling and have cold drinks all day. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.